Hello and good morning. Uh, you know that I'm a dog lover. Yes. <laughs> Specifically French bulldog lover, but I don't discriminate. I love all dogs, right? We don't judge. Uh, I love charcuterie as well. So when you pair Which do you love two of more? my favorite things, <laughs> I like them maybe equally, <laughs> you get barcuterie. Yes. Yeah. This is a thing. Uh, yeah. We are going out live this morning to Modesto with Andy Tre Angie Trejo, who has started barcuterie boards. Angie, tell me how this became a thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I was, I was just telling the cameraman I was on uh, Pinterest one day because I like to make cheese boards for my family. And I saw an article that said, like, new dog trend or something like that. And I was like, what? So I clicked the article and it said, uh, barcuterie for dogs, or charcuterie for dogs is called barcuterie. I was like, no way. This isn't, like, this isn't a thing. <laughs> so um, I just thought about it. I was like, you know what? I need to bring something like this to the valley because usually it's like a bigger city thing. Because when I did my research, it was mainly like Bay Area and East Coast, like okay. NYC, Atlanta. Yeah. So I was like, nope, Modesto needs something like this. So then. There we go. That's how that barcuterie board started. And now you have, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Okay, so tell me what goes on the barcuterie board. Is it stuff that humans would eat too? What else do you have on there? Yeah, yeah. So um, today I just did berry boards, um, but this one has a cucumber rose. So, so I know some of my customers like to eat like the berries and stuff, but it's usually everything's dog safe. I have the blackberries, the strawberries. I have a cucumber rose. I have organic peanut butter. Um, so it's honestly tailored to every dog's uh, diet. So I usually have some customers that don't like chicken, don't like beef, mm. want all veggies. It just varies per board. Yeah. Isn't it funny how even so, the dogs yeah, and then also are so specific with what they can eat and the allergies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, I have a customer that said, I don't want dehydrated fruit because on my non perishables like this one, um, I do dehydrated fruit, and they're like, next time we're getting fresh fruit because they didn't eat any of the dehydrated <laughs> fruit that you added. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, it's good to know that you, you guys, can customize. Yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, for sure. And you guys would be surprised. <laughs> so, you yeah. know what? I'm actually not surprised. It sounds like it should be a surprise, but I'm actually not. Um, okay, so <laughs> how can people order these? And, and I'm sure these are fun gifts, though, also to give to friends and family who have animals. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, and it's a lot of birthday gifts I get too. The other day, somebody actually ordered a mommy to be box because their dog got pregnant. Oh my god! So I gosh. thought that was super cute. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it's literally like custom to every holiday. So. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, but um, on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, and people can order on Instagram. I also just started shipping as well, so you guys could just send me a DM or an email, um, and then yeah, that's how you guys can order. Oh my gosh, I love it. You give push presents for dogs. This is fantastic. This is my new favorite thing. Okay, thank you so much, Angie. We are so excited that you did bring this to the South yeah, Valley. This is wonderful you guys. from Modesto. We are going to have all of your information linked up to our website, GoodDaySacramento.com. For sure. Appreciate it. Those are so cute. Go treat your dog to a barcuterie Thank board. you. I, thank I you guys it. for having me. <laughs> Bye. And the box, I mean, the boards are cute. But Angie is so dang charming. Yeah. Like I know. It's the perfect combination. I love her. So I feel like I want to go be friends with her. <laughs> but I feel like we've just lowered humans down the food chain a little bit. Yeah. You know, like yeah. who's on top? I mean, mm, gotta be the dog. I mean, when you're saying you don't want the dehydrated fruit, you know, <laughs> you're a little picky. <laughs> that was great. Thanks, Dina.